It's okay. Please, I insist. Thank you. Clarice, what are you doing here? It's your day off. I'm here to cover for Rihanna's shift. She couldn't find childcare for her kids, so she needed the day off. Oh, and thank you again for doing us such a huge favor by designing our new website and logo. Oh, look at this. We've been getting compliments all day. So beautiful. <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm really glad to help. Don't mention it? Do you realize we didn't have a dime to spend on this and you made it look like we spent thousands? Sometimes I think you're wasting your time working at this diner, especially with all the talent you have. Bree, I thought you couldn't come to work today. Do you still need me to cover for your shift? Yeah, I just came to pick up my check. My girl's waiting in the car. There you go. And Bree, while I have you here, unfortunately, this is gonna be your last check. I have to let you go. What? But but I need this job. I have a kid to support. Business has been slow, and I gotta let somebody go. Please, you could cut my pay or my hours. Just let me work here until I find something else. I wish I could, but quite frankly, I can't even rely on you to be here on time. How am I supposed to put food on the table? Don't fire her. Because I actually wanted to tell you that I have to quit. Some personal obligations came up, and I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you privately, but given the circumstances, I figured it's best to tell you now. So, you cannot fire her, or else you'll be short-staffed. Don't worry, I'll still cover for your shift today, so you can take care of your kid, okay? Thank you so much, Clarice. You are such a good person. And such a good worker. It's a shame you're quitting. Hey, we could still keep the website and logo, right? All right, get to work. So, what do you think? I, I know I'm just a design associate here, but I have big ideas for the Getty Tower. So, I thought I'd take the chance to show them to you. Wait a minute. You're married? When did that happen? Uh, recently. I finally proposed to my girlfriend. Um, we had a civil wedding at the courthouse, but we're gonna have a bigger family wedding soon. Huh. So those two days you took off last month when you said you were sick? A honeymoon. <laughs> I must say, it's nice to see you settling down so young. <laughs> to be frank with you, I never trust a single man with lean uh, architectural design on a hundred million dollar development project. The Gettys are my biggest client. But now that I know you're settled, I'll think about it. Call me old school, but marriage is stability. And as architect, we like stability. So does that mean you're gonna make me lead architect on this project? Sorry I'm late, Daddy. Got stuck at Chanel. <laughs> you're not involving Ken in designing the development projects, are you? That project's mine. Ken would just show me some of his ideas. And they're quite good. 
Do you have your drawings? Uh... They were past due a month ago. The Getty family keeps asking me about them. No, I... I haven't had time with everything I've had going on. Well, maybe I should consider Ken's proposal then. Time's running out. And he just gave me the good news that he settled out. Which gives me more confidence in him. Even though this vertical transportation and circulation does appear to be a glaring issue in the, this particular design. Do you need something? Or are you just gonna sit there and take up space? Wait, I'd like to meet that wife of yours. I need to know who my future niece will be. Your cousin here just made an honest woman out of some lucky lady. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Or is it that imaginary one that you keep telling everyone you're with that no one has ever met? She's not imaginary. Well then, I look forward to meeting her, cousin. for picking me up. This is the only thing that got me through my whole shift, which was knowing I'd be seeing you. I have so much to tell you about. Baby, what's wrong? Talk to me. What's going on? I got that job I was telling you about in Oregon. Okay. And? And? Long distance just won't work. Harrison, are you breaking up with me right now? Clarice, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not you, it's, it's trick. Please don't just walk off no. like that. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Clarice? Ken? Hey. Thanks for your clothes and for saving me. Who knew my knight in shining armor would be Ken Park from grade school? <laughs> So, how are your parents? Oh, they're still in Korea. But they come back to visit every few years. Oh, no, that this doesn't look good. Uh, what's your wife going to think when she sees me fresh out the shower wearing your clothes? My wife? Oh, oh, this, this thing? Yeah. I just wear it so that my rich uncle, who so happens to also be my boss, would take me more seriously. I'm trying to get a promotion to become a lead architect and work on a big development project. Right, I mean, your hard work should speak for itself. 
What difference does it make if you're married or not? All that matters is the family you're born into. And I was born into the wrong one. <laughs> Ken, after all these years, it's crazy that you still think that way. I mean, looks like you're doing pretty okay to me. <laughs> yeah, my uncle treats me well. But money isn't everything. My dream was always to become lead designer. That's why I worked my butt off in school to earn all these certifications. But it doesn't matter. If only I was my uncle's son, not my parents. What's, what's the matter? Did I say something to upset you? No, no, it's just that I, I lost my mom after high school. And um, I've been on my own ever since, so I couldn't even afford to go to college. And now I just take whatever jobs I can get to pay the bills. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, even though you may not have everything you want, you should be grateful for everything you have, Ken. Your parents, an uncle, family. <sighs> and hey, at least you didn't lose your job today or get dunked. Or almost get mugged. <laughs> Where have you been and what do you have? I want to ask. I want to ask. Anyways, I've been waiting for you all day to tell you something. What? Your girls got engaged. Oh my God! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> so, well, there's one more thing. Since I'm engaged, my fiance is going to be moving in. Yeah? That'll take some time adjusting, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll need you to move out. It's cute though, right? Yeah. I was hoping you'd take me up on the offer. And here's your bedroom. Thanks again for letting me stay here. I appreciate it. Of course. I mean, it's the least I could do for my wife. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have to meet my uncle tonight for dinner. Uh, I don't think I have anything to wear, though. What's wrong? Do you not like it? No, it's not that. It's just I've never worn a beautiful dress before. Well, go ahead. Try it on. Make sure it fits. Oh, uh, a few more things. Here are four checks for $1,000 each. You know, for helping me out. And uh, this is probably important. Yeah. I'm not going to charge you. You letting me stay here is way more than enough. No, no please, keep it. Uh, one more thing. These are some facts about our relationship. We need to keep our stories straight in case anyone asks. Right. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Well, I'll be down the hall if you have any questions. Make yourself at home. Nice to see you. Punctual as always. So where's this lady of yours? Uh, she's just in the restroom, but she'll be here. choice. She's not only beautiful, but she looks like a good person, too. Rare combination nowadays, if you ask me. Mr. Lee, it's so nice to finally meet you. I'm Clarice, and I heard great things about you. I'm very pleased to see what a polite young woman you found for himself. Well, my mom always taught me to be kind, because if you're a good person and you work hard, 
You can be anything you want in life. You're forgetting one thing. Having the right bloodline. Legacy is everything. My grandfather started my company. My father grew it. And I'm continuing to build it. One day, my daughter will run it. Vic, didn't you want to tell your uncle something? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, uncle, I, I wanted to show you I took the liberty to solve that design flaw. I decided to implement sky lobbies on every intermediate floor uh, to help transfer between express and local elevators, improving vertical circulation and reducing elevator congestion. Mm. Nicely done, I must say. I like your ambition. And you took upon yourself to solve it without any guidance. And were able to do so rather quickly. Hmm. Uh, you're looking at his designs again? Can we just show me some initiative he took? Speaking of which, do you have your drawings? Uh, no, I haven't had time to get them done yet. Hmm. Well, in that case, I might have to consider Ken's designs and him to potentially lead this project. No, you can't give it to him. It's just a lowly design associate. And how would it look if you were to promote a design associate to be the lead architect for one of our largest clients, especially over me, your daughter? He's just her nephew. I hear you. But Ken has shown a lot of promise. Plus, he's married now. And you know how much I like stability. You yourself are married, even though you're older. Besides, time is of the essence with our meeting with Mr. Katie coming up. I'm gonna have to make my final decision soon. So get your drawings in. But Daddy, Ken isn't even really married. It's just a lie he made up to impress you. What do you mean? He has a ring on his finger. His wife is sitting right there. So, you're the imaginary girl, huh? Let, let's just enjoy dinner, What's your shall name? we? Clarice? No, your full maiden name? Clarice Lynn Myers. Where did you meet? At a bar. At <laughs> a bar. I mean, we met at a restaurant at the bar there. We actually knew each other from middle school until he transferred to private for high school. Mm. And how long did you date before a lover boy popped the question? About a year. That's, that's it? Well, we really- I wasn't asking you, I was asking Clarice. We dated for about six months until we Finally made it official. <gasps> and where did you go on your honeymoon? Hong Kong. <laughs> mm, I've actually been a couple times. Where did you stay? It's at the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Oh my gosh, babe. Uh, the, Ritz? <laughs> <laughs> the Ritz. The Ritz Carlton. Yeah. Right. There's some great beaches there. Which ones did you guys visit? I I don't remember. That's okay. I can help. There's Tai Long Wan, Sheko, Kolam. The last one. Really? Because Kolam Beach is in Thailand, not Hong Kong. That's because she meant Kwan Yam Wan Beach. They, yeah. they, just, they sound so similar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys taken a look at the menu? Yeah, they got some great options. So you live too. together? We would love to visit. It's been so long since we visited Ken's house. Wouldn't that be nice, Dad? It'll be fun. Hey, Clarice. Hurry, help me put these photos into these frames before my uncle gets here. Uh, why are you freaking out so much about this? There's no time to explain. Just please help me.
I'm proud of you for staying and working so late, sweetheart. Are you ready to go to Ken's? Yes, Daddy. I'll be right there. into a bigger and bigger lie. Because I have no choice, okay? She was his daughter. That continued into when we were adults, both working under my uncle. Like when I got multiple big clients for him, I thought he'd finally see my worth and let me take the lead on a project. But instead, he gave them all to Leanne without a second thought. So, you see, that's how I know that being successful is only based on the family you're born into. But Ken, that's, that's not true. I'm really sorry that you went through everything, but I promise you that it's not about the family you're born into. My mom always told me that if you work hard and you're a good person, you can be anything you want in life. long enough. Nice place you got. Huh. Didn't take you long to get settled in now, did you, Clarice? Uh, I felt at home right away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So tell me something, Clarice. Did you marry my cousin because he has a good job with multiple degrees, especially considering you never even attended college? Uh, how did you know I didn't attend college? I don't know, I just know a lot about you. Like, you're an only child. You grew up with a single mom who suddenly passed away right after graduation. <sighs> oh, and you recently lost your job at the diner. May not be smart enough to get a degree, but you're smart enough to marry up. <sighs> enough with all that nonsense. I'm not sure if that matters. Ken, tell me about all this. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, so, Clarice, what made you fall for my cousin? Uh, well, I think he's a great person. He's very smart, kind, and talented. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, remind me when your wedding anniversary is. April. 20th. Uh huh. Nice honeymoon photo. I did this. How long were you in Hong Kong? Uh, we were there for about a week. Last month? Uh huh. Huh. Interesting. Because of this competition, I was even given the opportunity to help design the lobby of a hotel they were constructing in Shanghai at the time. Over here is an interview I did for Architectural Digest. This photo. Uh, Ken, you would never lie to my daddy or me, right? No, of course not. Huh. Then I'll give you one more chance. Where did you actually go for your honeymoon? Or did you go on a honeymoon at all? Of course we did. I mean, the photo clearly shows the photo, that we... photo, right. But... If you really did go on your honeymoon last month, then why is the skyline in this photo Hong Kong's old skyline before they built the new buildings? I don't know what you're talking about. This is the current skyline, and that is the old skyline. So, care to explain? 
It's a lie. Ken wanted to fake our marriage because he wanted to impress Mr. Lee so that he'd be taken seriously as a designer. The truth is, we're not even together. I knew it. I knew it. Is this true? Answer me now. Why would you lie to me? Because we all know that you never would have given me the chance that I deserve. You give Leanne everything. And she's not half as qualified as I am, or she doesn't work nearly as hard. So I made up this whole story for you to, I don't know, try and take me more seriously. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you, Clarice? I thought we had a deal. I can't support a lie, Ken. Like I said, if you stick to being a good person and you work hard, then you can be- Then what, huh? You're a good person, you work hard, and where's that gotten you? You're a broke, unemployed, homeless waitress who, who has to pretend to be my wife and take money for it. What kind of a life is that? You know nothing about my situation. I never knew my dad. And my mom was the only family I had before she passed away. It's just been me taking care of myself the past seven years. And I never had the same opportunities that you have. But still, I haven't given up because I know that one day it'll happen for me. But what's your excuse? You have money? Tell it. You have everything, Ken. It doesn't matter. If only I was my uncle's son, he gives his own daughter everything. Stop talking about your uncle. Why do you think you need him? You don't. You just keep telling yourself that you do. Those awards, you earned them. Those designs, you drew them. So stop making excuses and blaming other people, Ken. You're in control of your own destiny, no one else. She never cashed them. If you're a good person and work hard, you can be anything you want in life. Is this all for today?
Don't worry about it. I got it. Have a nice day. Hey. Do you have a greeting card section? I'm looking for something that screams, sorry, I was a jerk. What are you doing here? I came to apologize for how I treated you. And I was wondering what time you get off. I have something to show you. So, what is this place? And what are we doing here exactly? You didn't notice the sign? Yeah. No way! <laughs> oh my gosh! This place is yours? Mm-hmm. Ken, I'm so happy for you. We've already signed a handful of clients and have a few more big meetings along the way. Business is doing better than ever. And the reality of it is, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for your advice. You were right all along. My destiny has always been in my own hands. I'm so proud of you, Ken. <laughs> but what would your uncle say about all of this? <sighs> What is this that I'm reading? Ken Park Architectural Firm signs Getty as client. I can't believe you stole that family phone. I didn't steal anyone. They heard about my new firm and saw all the people I was working with, and they contacted me. I never reached out to them. Look, Ken, if you want to impress me with all of this, you did. Now please, come back and work for me. I'll make you lead architect. Or better yet, president. But Daddy, you can't make him president! I deserve it. I'm your daughter. Guys, thanks for the offer. But I'm happy here. I appreciate all you've done for me. But it's time for me to build my own legacy now. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> Come on. There's something I have to show you. So, what do you think? You want to be my new creative director? Wow, this is all I've ever dreamed of. I can't believe this is happening. Thank you, Ken. This 